Walt Disney was, was a creative genius. Even though he often said, we don't allow geniuses around here. But his, his true creative genius occurred when, when he worked at becoming the best by creating something new or reinventing the old. You know, he, he created something new in, in the animated feature films, and he reinvented the old as he did at, at Disneyland by reinventing the amusement park. In all of his endeavors throughout the years, he used a technique for creativity called storyboarding. And storyboarding is a, is a displayed thinking technique where you capture the ideas and thoughts and creative ideas and thoughts from, from everyone in a, in a group very quickly. And a little bit about the history of storyboarding. Walt learned storyboarding, gives credit to Leonardo da Vinci. When Walt started his, his cartoon studio in the 1920s, instead of placing stacks of drawings around the room, as was the case in those, those early days in other studios, Walt required his artist to put their sketches on sheets of, of wood that were four by eight feet and have those sketches on the wall. Hence, the word storyboarding took form. And in doing this, Walt could see the story unfold and he could make changes to the story before the expensive animation uh, and then thousands of drawings began. Later on in the 1960s, Walt developed this concept into a problem solving technique where he would present a problem to a group of people, have them write their ideas on, on cards and post these cards on a wall. I like to call this an ideal landscape. Of, of an hour or two, you'd be surprised at the number of ideas that, that can come out. We've done studies in typical brainstorming sessions where with 14 people, the number of, of utterances, that's ideas, thoughts, and questions that come out in an hour meeting with 14 people averaged 42. In a storyboard session, the number of utterances varied from a low of 150 to a high of 300.